so Professor Palomo, uh, so this, um, this, um, uh, you know, Chinese gold diggers in Ghana. And yes. The police force is now taking actions to take those Chinese gold diggers back. Uh, why do you think um, um, this? And uh, so as the robberies, uh, mm. people saying like um, mm. people from Ghana, they mm. rob the mm. Chinese mm. gold diggers. So mm. why do you think this, if, um, this incident will happen? Well, thank you for having me on your program. Um, this is uh, this issue about Chinese the, in the news about Chinese uh, uh, gold diggers being in Ghana and having problems with the authorities is a major issue in uh, Africa China relations, especially Ghana China relations. Um, it's true that this incident has been happening for a long time. In fact, I was, on, I was one of the first people to draw attention to it about one year ago in an article. Now, why is this happening? This is happening because um, there is an increasing interaction between uh, Chinese and Africans. Chinese are going to Africa, Africans are coming to China. In the case of these gold diggers, they have noticed uh, an opportunity about gold. My country, Ghana, has a lot of gold. And indeed, you don't have to dig too much deeper inside. You can actually get it at river beds on the surface. And that's what they are involved in. And there's nothing wrong with a legal business of uh, prospecting for gold. But the problem is that these people are doing illegal work. And you ask me a question, why is there robbery? I think this, it's not a case of robbery. What happens is this, when the Chinese, when these young men go there, in search of opportunity, which is okay. But when, at first, they collaborate with the uh, Ghanaians, indigenous people. So there's nothing wrong with that. They collaborate with them. But then, as they get to know the system, and there's a problem in my country, that there's corruption. Most of the landowners are corrupt. So they're able to uh, pay bribes to these landowners, which is called the chiefs. And they're also able to pay bribes to the security officers. So as they get to know the system, they take control of the situation. So, and they can buy guns by themselves. So it is, I don't, I don't think that it is the case that they face robberies. It is the case that they kind of try to uh, scare away other people, other competitors. They try to scare away um, indigenous people and even they try to scare away the, the security people. So robberies could be the, an issue, but it is, the robbery is not the case as has been uh, reported in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the news. What is happening is that there's a confrontation between illegal miners and the security officers, illegal miners and competitors, illegal miners. And, and I'm not, it's not only Chinese who do this. A lot of people do, including, you know, uh, people from other parts of the world. So to the short answer to your question is that, why is this happening? Because um, uh, Chinese gold diggers have found an opportunity and they are going beyond legal means to do it. They're using illegal means to dig for this gold. All right. Yeah. Thanks. So um, 